Today I'm going to show you two different styles of op art or optical illusion art. This first style I'm going to show you is a little bit more straightforward. Kind of looks like vertical columns but really wiggly. So to start this all you have to do is get a sheet of paper and a sharpie. You really don't need pencil for this if you don't want to. If you're kind of scared to just jump right in, go ahead and use the pencil. But you really don't need it. It's not quite as complicated as it looks. So very first thing we do is draw a wavy line across your paper horizontally. All right. Try to keep it somewhere near the middle of your paper. It doesn't have to be directly in the middle, but somewhere near the middle. You don't want it to be too wavy, just a few waves. And this is our baseline. Our next step is to add at least six dots along our line. Try to space them out. They don't all have to be exactly the same distance, but you want to space them out. So there's six dots. Pretty easy. Now our next step is to make curved lines from one dot to another. What I mean by that is we're going to curve a line away from our baseline, from one point to another, just like this easy, right? And we're going to do that for each of our sections between these dots that we've drawn. Now, we're also going to do the same thing from the dot closest to the edge of our paper off the edge of the paper. On both sides, just like that. Now, this is our start. To continue this, you want to keep adding all these curved lines coming further off of that baseline. So, again, coming from that dot, you want to try to shoot for that section where they meet up and bring another curved line off of each section just like this. Alright, and we just keep this going. And as we move along, you'll see it gets a little further away from that dot. That's totally fine. It's gonna keep moving outward as we make these curved lines, and you're just gonna meet up your lines pretty close. Wherever these lines are meeting up right here, that's where you want to start your next curved line and meet it right up on the other side. You're going to make these curved lines moving along probably left to right like you're reading a book. It's easiest to kind of keep yourself straight that way so you don't get confused. And you can see this coming together and you can see each of these sections how they're coming next to each other a little bit further out as we move along so we're just going to keep this going until we come all the way to the edge of our paper if you want to let's say make this section widen out and kind of make it bulge more than the rest of your sections we can do that pretty easily what we do instead of continuing adding one curved line to each section you're going to focus on this one section and add these curved lines just to this section and it'll make it wider now if you do this the consequence is that the sections next to it will then get smaller which actually ends up looking pretty cool too so just keep that in mind so you know that that will happen if you do make a section bigger
All right, and now we have completed our first half of our op art drawing. Now, we're going to do exactly the same thing for our other half. The only change is that these curved lines are going to be going in the opposite direction. So it's just being flipped. The curved lines are still curving away from our baseline that we first drew. They're just going to come this way. And you're going to do the same thing and connect those curved lines from the dots and meet them up just like this. And again, you're just going to continue these curved lines all the way out until we get to the edge of our paper. Now you see here that we have our base drawing finished. That's pretty much it. You can see as this goes, the app art part of this is that it looks pretty three-dimensional. Even some of these sections appear to kind of hide behind other sections as they go when they get pinched off. It's really pretty cool. And if you look here where all of the lines are meeting up with each other, it creates sort of like a natural shadow, which even adds more to the three-dimensional look of this work. All right, for our second style of op art, this is more of a converging style, which means that all of these wiggly sections that we've been doing they're going to come to one point instead of all flowing in different directions or going up and down like the last style. So for this, to start off, all we have to do is place a dot somewhere on our paper, just like that. Not too big, just a little dot. All right. This is the point that all of our sections are going to be converging into, where they're all going to meet up. Our next step after we draw the dot is to draw four to five straight lines through that dot. Now you can use a ruler to do this if you want them to be perfectly straight. They don't have to be perfectly straight. I'll just freehand it and draw four lines through this dot. Just like that. You don't want the lines to be very long. Try to keep it under four inches because this is just the starting point for you. After we get it going, you can have a little bit more freedom if you keep the line shorter. Four lines, you can see, create actually eight different sections. Each of these is going to be one of the wiggly lines, those sections that you saw before. So to do that in this style, you're going to do that same sort of thing meeting up the lines, except instead of meeting them up with a dot, you're going to be meeting them up along the lines that we just drew. So if you see here, you can start a line just like that. once you get toward the end of your lines and move on to the next section. So now I've brought the curved lines all the way out toward the end of each of those lines that we first drew from that dot. Once you have this completed, this is where it kind of opens up for you a little bit. Just like we did with the previous style, how you can have certain sections be wider, you can do the same thing here. So, let's say I want to make this section bigger. All you do, instead of adding one line all the way around moving like a clock, you're going to focus on just that one section for a little while to make it bigger.
All right, so there we have our completed second style of op art, the converging style that all comes to one point. And again, you can see when you make certain sections larger, it really adds some interest and variety to the drawing. So you're going to want to think about that when you're working. You might want to add some of these bigger sections, smaller sections, because it really does add something pretty special to it.